today we are going to discuss the automation. So we have like three kinds of automation. We have document templates. We'll start with document templates, intake forms, and workflows. So in the document templates, you know, like you have merge fields. So what you can do in document templates is I will show you a sample document template. So this is how a document template looks. So in document templates, you will copy paste certain merge fields and you will put in a document and then the system will replace these merge fields with the relevant data. So you see, I have like matter.relationship.medicalprovider.facts. So what it's going to do is you know, like it will, so on the, on the matter itself, this document is going to look for a relationship medical provider, and then it's going to get the facts for that. Then it will get the name, it will get the street, city. So you can add this, you can create these documents only once, and then you can recreate it like again and again. So how you will do is, you know, like I will show you, I will take an example of it. I'm going to remove this now, and I will show you like how we can create it. So we'll switch here. So once you're in Locus, you will go to automation. You will click on document templates. You will click on merge fields. So here you will see all the merge fields. So you see matter.name. If, if we copy this matter.name, so either you can use this copy here or you can use copy from here. So if you go here and you copy this here, like matter.name, So this will you know, like replace this matter.name with the relevant name, like on which matter we create this document, we attach this document, it will replace the that that matter's name over here. So now you can build it. You can build like, let's say if you want more information, like who is a client. So we'll say client. And then you can copy the client information as well. So either you can search it on the top here, filter merge fields, or you can search from here. So I will say my matter.client, I'm looking for first name and name. So I will copy this here. I will put it on, copy paste it on my document. So this is your regular, you know, like your document automation where you copy paste these fields over here and these fields got replaced by, by the relevant data. After that, you may want to put some conditions also, like if and else. For example, you know, like if the client's gender is male, you want to put his on the document. If the gender is female, you may want to put like her on a document. So I will show you how to do that. So I already have something here. So I will show you the other document. So I will go here and so what you can do is you can add if and else statements here. So it is very easy to do that. So what you need to do is you know, like you will go here. So click, so I'm using, I'm using Mac. So if you click here on the document, on the word, click on preferences, you can see the code which are here. So you will see the moment I did that, like I unchecked it, it's showing me the code behind this, this field here. So if I remove it, so it's very easy, click on a word on the top, click on preferences, click on a view, and then remove this. So if you remove this, it will show the, the value instead. And if you check it, it will show the codes which are used, like the code which we put to, to generate that, to calculate like if the gender is female, use her, if gender is a male, use his. So it's very simple code. I will show you like how it works. So if you remove it, it will go away. If I cancel it out, it will show like this. So now like how this code works, it's very simple. So how the code works is you know, like if, if there's an expression, that expression is let's say condition one. So condition can be anything. If this is true, if the expression is equals to condition, so for example, in our case, if gender is, let's say, let me take example here. If gender is female, then we put like what to do here. Like if the condition is false, do something. If it is false, do something else. So here we will write true condition. And here we will write false. So in our example, we will have when gender is a female. So if female comes as a gender, 
female is equals to female, it would be her. If it is not, if the male comes in, it will be, it will be his. So, so if female comes in, if the gender like in locus is female, it will be, it will show her. If it comes as it comes as a male, like in the in the document or in the matter, it's a male for a client, it will show as his. So I'll remove this. I will show you like how you will insert this now. So how you insert this, you will click on an insert on the top. You will go here. You see this field here. You will click on this field. After this, you will select if statement. So go back. I did a mistake here. So I will click again and show all and then click here and then search for if. So now you see like it shows me here and this is what I was showing you. Like if expression one, operator can be anything. Operator is your conditions like equal to, greater than, less than. So anything like that, like the comparison, how you do the comparison would be your operator. Your operators are equal signs, greater than, less than. And there are many other operators. You can Google it, you will find a lot of that. And there are good demos also online too. So if you like Google this, you will find a lot of like online tutorials only on the conditional statements. After this, you will do if. So we'll copy the field which we have, like we'll go to locus now and we will copy this here. So we'll say gender. So you see here, so we'll copy this. We'll go back and we'll say when gender is equals to, and we'll say female. If this is true, put her. If this is false, put his. So this is just an example. You can use this for anything. And you can code this for, for anything how, how you want it. So you can have conditions like, you know, like when the rate, matter rate is 300, show X thing. When rate is less than $300, show Y. So this is your one thing. Again, you see like, there are times when you have like you have to create similar documents for different kind of people. For example, you have a family case and you have to create a document for each child, like person's child. So what I have I'm doing on this document is so I have so what we call is dynamic merge fields. So dynamic merge fields are for the relationships. So if you have like a same relationship for different people on a matter, so I'll show you that as well. So I have like a relationship dot child dot name. So what I want to do is you know, like if I have five children for a client, I may be able to, I should be able to create like five documents, five different documents for each child. So this will have that. So we call it like a dynamic merge field and I will show you like how it will replace it. So I'll go back to my matter. I will go to Adolf versus Jacobs here. And if you see my matter here, I have two child. I have Blake and Angelina as a child, and I have two medical providers. I have Abby Cartwright and I have Amik Singh as my as my medical providers. So in doc in this document, you know, like in a sample document, what I'm trying to show you is you know, like you can create you can add like a dynamic merge fields, and then you can create documents on it. Like you don't have to create four different fields or you don't have to create four different documents. So this is perm permutation combination. You can create like four into three. So almost more than four, like, you know, like more documents, but Locus will allow you to select like which child you want to create a document and for which medical provider. So the document is like this, we'll go back. So we added like matter.relationship.child.name. We have dot matter.client.name and over here on the top, you know, like we initially we had like relationships. So I will show you like I'll switch back. And so this was our original document. So we'll upload this as a template. Sorry, you know, like I clicked it by mistake. So this was our original document here. So matter.relationship.medicalprovider.fax.name.street. So now we are going to upload this. Once we upload it, so how we upload it, 
is you know like we'll click on automation we'll click on document templates we'll click on templates we'll upload this document so i already had it so i'm not going to re-upload it so now if you have to create document after this template so we'll click on a matter you will click on this sign here attachment sign you will click on document from template so the moment you go there it will ask you to select a template because i deleted everything for to to make it easier so dynamic merge field example i was selecting you see the moment i selected that that template it tells me map relation medical provider to a client so i will select like which child i want to create a document so i will say i want to create for a meek sync so it's going to pull all the information from a meek sync and will put it on onto the document now second is you know, like i want to create like map relation child to a client so i want to create for angelina so now i will say create a document from a template so we'll click on this it will take few seconds you see it created this document i'm going to download this document and i will show you like how it will compare now so if you see here so medical dot provider dot fax it has fax here date dot text the date was applied september 11 it has a meek sync that was my medical provider's name then it has matter dot client dot name like who's client so you see i had like adult jacobs so i was creating for adult jacobs and we have like his name his date of birth and now you see here like we have his because you know, like if i if i will show you the gender of of adult so we'll go to adult and we'll add it this and we'll show what is the gender. So this is female. You see like it shows a male there, right? So the reason being you like, so you have to refresh it. So whenever a document is created, like you will refresh it, either you can press F5 or you can refresh you know, like update field. So by updating the field, it will show the, the correct thing. So this is a limitation of Microsoft Word. Like if you have like condition fields, you have to refresh the document. You can press F5 to do all of them, or you can do select all, and then you can update it. So now you see like it shows it correctly. Now it shows as her. So now we are going to change it to his again, and I will show you like it will show his if we change the gender. So see here, like it shows Angelina Dolly. It has my email address here because in the document, what I have is I'm doing this here. See user.email, the person who is logged in, who is creating this document and user.name. So this is very useful, these two things. If you have like a lot of attorneys in your firm, so they can create like the person who is creating it, you know, like it will show their name. And if you don't want to show that, you want to hard code it. For example, a paralegal normally creates that document. So you can hard code the name and then you can only use, like you don't have to use these fields here. And now we will use the same document. We'll cancel it out. We'll go back to Adolf and Jacobs. And I'm going to create it for, for different parameters now. So I will say document from a template. I will select a template again. I will say I want to start create for Abby Cartwright, and I want to create for Blake now. So I will create a document from template. So it will take a few seconds to create. We'll click here and download this now. And you will see now the system created for, for Abby here. So you don't have to create like multiple custom fields to do these like in, like in other software. So you can have like, you know, like a dynamic merge fields and then you can map the merge field with the contact you are selecting. So this is your document automation. We covered three things here. You can always reach out to support at lockers. You can directly reach me at heavy at lockers. Thank you very much.